Hey everyone, this is Luminous, and in this video I'll be answering some of the questions I get most frequently asked. So, here we go. The best answer to this question is, I, I'm not too sure, I don't know. Um, in the case of Jack, he hasn't said he quit, um, but we haven't had contact, we as in Jack and I haven't had contact for six months now, maybe a little bit longer. So I, I don't know whether this is a very long break or this is a I'm quitting commentating thing from Jack. So I don't know. Since he hasn't made any official uh, statements about that, I, I don't want to take a guess. But um, in terms of commentating, he hasn't done it for a while. So that's all I know. Now in terms of Sienna, um, she you know a lot of people have been asking. Uh, she deleted her channel. You know where where's her commentary? Um, she, I think she quit about. I think she quit commentating. So. Um, I, I don't exactly know why, but just gonna leave it at that. She could have commentating, so that's that's where Jack and Sienna is, um, and, and th that is the question. Believe it or not, I get asked the most, the most. A lot of people are also wondering why I don't put intro uh, in my video now, and I don't put music in my video. Well, using a copyrighted material is against the law and you could get in trouble with that and I definitely got in trouble with that when uh, I used it in my old channel and that was the reason why I had to switch from the Luminous 48 channel to the Luminous Studios channel because you know they were removing my right to post an hour length video because I use copyrighted music you know use music in general basically so you know what I was like I don't want to do any more of that I just want to commentate I want to have you guys watch full length videos without having to watching it in five different parts so I just like I'm not gonna deal with any music for now, unless I have people composing original music for me. I don't think I could use any music in general um, because it's, again it's copyrighted. <laughs> uh, that, that's a question I get to I get asked uh, whenever I do a Dota Weekly show, and there's a couple of reasons for that. You can see I'm I'm not wearing a you know a nice shirt or a, a tie or anything like that. I I just really use whatever I wear at that time to do my Dota Weekly show. It's not like, hey, I, I'm doing a DWS, let's put on a tie. Um, usually I dress up pretty frequently. I work in an office, so that's mandatory to dress up you know, in an office attire. Uh, most of the time, my family attend restaurants or you know, play, we go to places that requires uh, you know, a certain kind of get-up. Uh, for example, I, I go to listen to classical concerts quite a bit. So again, you gotta dress up a little bit nice. So I, I'm actually really. Uh, also, I did debate back in college. So again, you, you gotta dress up there. Um, so I, I'm really comfortable in terms of dressing up. Um, so that's and I, I frequently do dress up even for everyday uh, purposes because I guess it's just part of my clothing wardrobe. Uh, the second thing is it's a new show and I think that it should be somewhat done professionally. So looking the part is also part of it. So that's why I do. Uh, dress up, yeah. So uh, in my everyday attire, you know, I'm just t-shirt, um, wearing glasses, just just standard stuff. And I made a video about this. It's in my old channel, but it's right here now. Um, and uh, the two programs I use most frequently is Fraps for catching both video and audio, and then I use Sony Vegas to compile them together. Sometimes I use Audacity for audio only. And that's absolutely free for Fraps and uh, Sony Vegas. Uh, they're pretty expensive programs, but I believe there's trial versions where you could test it out if you want to uh, try these program out. I play Dota probably exclusively only on uh, Teamspeak of the Dota commentary server. Uh, we organize in houses there, we pub together there, and in terms of platform, I use Delicious now the most. Um, before it was Karina, now it's Delicious. So I, I play there a lot. Um, sometimes RGC, but only for like official clan matches. But like 90% of the time is Delicious. Uh, to get a game with me, it's quite easy. We have things like Viewers Game. I play in house, you know, probably every other day. So uh, just come on our TeamSeek server, and the f uh, information for TeamSpeak is going to be on the front page of DC. So that's where I play Dota. What I want to do with Dota 2, I, I don't know. I don't know where Dota is heading in general uh, as, a, as a game, so I it would be nice if I have a job that is geared towards commentating, although I don't know how long that's going to last either, so I'm just taking, I'm weighing all the pros and cons. So um, I will be here doing commentaries, of course, 
Um, and I do want to pursue some type of commentary career, but I'm also studying in school for a master's in education. Uh, my, my primary goal is to be a high school teacher, but I don't know if commentating would be a part of that, a separate part of that, I, I don't know. So I'm sorry, that's a very unclear way to answer a question, um, but to, to tell you the truth, I, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with Dota 2. I will be still commentating, I'll be still doing things like for DC, etc, etc, however, I don't know if I'm going to be commentating Gamescom one day or just being in a classroom teaching kids someday, so just going to leave like that. I started commentating like two years ago, wow, yeah, two years ago, it, it's been a while. Um, the first, the reason I actually started commentating was I want to do something either like Pokemon commentary or Dota commentary. Uh, and went on YouTube and searched around, and there wasn't any uh, Dota commentary. So like, okay, here we go. Dota commentary is this. So that's that's where it kind of you know first started. It, it's kind of like a big hobby of mine, and also a, a challenge to myself. Um, I want to be a better speaker in general, so that's that's why I, you know want to speak more, so I get more comfortable in, in, with speaking. And also, I I just do enjoy Dota a lot. Um, to me, it's a hobby. So like, I I don't you know. You guys don't hear me like, hey guys, that comment, rate, subscribe. I don't, I don't really care about that. But I do want to thank everyone that's been supporting me along the way. You know, people that have been watching since the beginning, and people that are sticking with me now. So that's really cool. Um, I was, I was actually expecting that when I switch channel from Luminous 48 to Luminous Studios, I would lose a lot of subscribers. But actually, people came back. So, yeah. But end of the day, it's just something fun for me to do. I enjoy doing it, especially now that I get to interact with some of my viewers uh, when I'm streaming. So you know, I get to, you know, play guess the anime music game with them, and then just like, hey, what hero do you want me to play? I do stream quite regularly as well now, so that's pretty cool. So it, it's just something fun for me to do, and I'm glad that I did it. It's a big part of my life now, and I think if I look back at this maybe 20 or even 30 years down the road. I don't I, I don't think I will say I, w I regret doing that. So that's pretty much it for answering all the most commonly asked questions. I know there's a lot more. Uh, people want to know what's my top 10 anime list or you know, what's my favorite hero. Uh, we'll leave it for another day for questions like those. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, this is Luminous, signing off. See you guys.